Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go AWS API Gateway and Lambda using HTTP API. So there are many things to cover and it's quite complicated and there are many things you should be careful. So I'm not sure I will do, I will do this presentation well, but let me do my best. Anyway, let's dive in. So here, I'm in the API gateway service and I made an API and I will use this API. And here are functions. This is the Lambda page and these are the functions. And I will use these two functions. So, and then this function. HTTP HTTP root, all right. So that's it. So first, here, mm, there are two stages. So stages are the things that you have to uh, you have to decide when you deploy. So the first thing you should know is you have to deploy the site, uh, the site or URL and this URL. And if you see this, the stage name one, it is the same as the stage name, the path is, right? And then what I want to tell you is this, this is API gateway is linked and then if you see this this is linked to lambda HTTP API gateway which is this right and what I want to tell you is this details and then here API gateway routes and this is the page where you have to which uh, comes after uh, the stage name so the URL looks like this the stage name is here right let me open this API gateway HTTP because if you see the code, I API gateway HTTP is returned. So, and we have to check how it is linked to this API gateway. So, if you see this, the stage name one is here. So. If you go to the stages, deploy stages, the stage name one is here, right? Invoke URL. And then this one, API gateway HTTP change, right? This one is from this develop route, routes here. API gateway HTTP change, right? So this is linked. And we can see this here. The stage name one API gateway HTTP change. Right, cool. And there are other routes as well. So let me see this. This one just slash. And this shows API gateway HTTP root which is this lambda function. So it returns API gateway HTTP root. And if you see the API gateway, there are two triggers, right? Both are lambda HTTP, but 
The difference is this one is just slash, but this one is slash after ASDF. And let's check this in API Gateway routes. And there you can see slash is ASDF and slash is here. So these two things are linked. And the tricky thing is also this, this one. So if you see the stages, there are two stages. I made two stages, which is the stage name two. And let me show you. And wait a second, please. Uh, oh, let me do, do like this. I open this. And same, right? It is same as before. So I made to this stage as well link to this, right? Mm -hmm. This lambda. But you have to you have to be careful that this one attach deployment automatic deployment is disabled. So you can see this word when you create mm, like this. So if you go to deploy deploy stages and if you create one. And there it is, automatic deployment. And it automatically updates the stage with the latest route configuration. So let me explain what this means. So this, uh, this stage, the stage name two, is made after this Lambda function. And I uh, set this automatic deployment disabled. Then after that, I made this lambda function, right? And then what I want to tell you is this. So, and I did not enable it. So if I do like this, it, it makes an error because it is not deployed. But if I see this, it is deployed. And if you check it, this one, this one is, although it is uh, made before this Lambda function, because it is, you, it is using automatic deployment, so, and we can use it like this, like this one. Quite tricky, right? And then, so, these are called, and I want to mention that these ASDF like these things are called routes here, right? Routes. And you have to be careful that this route, you have to write slash. So let me show you. Like this one, it works fine, right? Uh, not this one. I will change this. Okay, it works fine. But if you erase this, it doesn't work, so you have to be careful about it. And then, uh, let me explain uh, course now, cross origin resource sharing, I guess. Yeah, it's one of, it's quite cumbersome, right? Always. So let me tell you. So this one, here, I made an index.html file. It's really simple. There is a button and there is a title which we will uh, get their title and I get the two elements and if we click the get button, this button, and we'll fetch the data and, and we'll get the message and we'll put the message in the title element. Really simple. So let me open it. All right, so if you see the code, the stage name one 
is here. And if you see the code, this one, right? This code is, this lambda function is uh, the function, right? And there is no header about course. So it does not work. Uh, so if I open the console and refresh it, yeah, I click the button, you can see the course policy error, right? But this one, if, I, if you see the code, there is headers and access, access, control, allow origin, and all the origins can be, how can I say, can be allowed, can, is allowed. So let me use this uh, lambda function. So to do this, we have to use, where is it? Configuration, this endpoint. Let me copy this. Right? And then see if it works. I'll refresh it. Yeah, API Gateway HTTP now works. So that's all for today. Uh, it was really hard for me to describe and I hope you get understand very well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.